Hey everybody. I didn't make a video when I put the uh, the new bilge pump into the bass boat. Um, but I thought, I this one, my John boat, I only use it for shiners. It leaks a lot. I really should have sealed it up better while I wasn't using it for a little while. But even if I have it sealed up right, throw in the cast net, I get water, a lot of water in the boat. So I thought I'd make a quick video on how I'm gonna put an automatic bilge pump into the John boat and make it mobile where I can take it in and out and it won't be in the way. It'll just be kind of temporary. Normally, normal application, you'd put a bilge pump switch. That is auto. In the middle is off and down runs it automatically or runs it manually. Because I'm not planning on using this thing all the time. It's just for catching shiners. I'm not gonna rig a switch. It's gonna be temporary in and out. That's why I'm not running a switch on this one. So in order to rig this up, I am gonna wire in a fuse. So I got a Busman fuse holder with five amp fuses. That's what it calls for. Um, we're gonna use regular butt connectors. We're gonna heat shrink it. And then I'm gonna use alligator clips on the end to connect to the battery. I've got a little piece of stainless steel that I'm going to be uh, mounting the pump to so I can, as a unit, pull this in and out. And of course, we'll have the hose to attach to it. And I'm just gonna screw it down. There's openings in the bottom. I'll just screw it down with some stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts so it's all real mobile. So it won't take long to rig this up. And uh, like I said, it's the same process as if you're, the only difference between what I'm doing and rigging up one for your bass boat is running a little bit longer wire from your battery source and from your pump back up wherever you mount your switch at. So basically the same process. So on this one, the black wire is gonna run straight to an alligator clip. The brown and white wire on this one is the one that goes for the automatic switch. So we will wire that through our fuse and from the fuse into the positive alligator clip. The other positive, and normally you would run it up into your switch, but I'm not running a switch. Heat shrink tubing. Get our connector in place. That should hold pretty good. And then we'll heat shrink it like this. Right, we're gonna use a butt connector and a piece of heat shrink tubing to connect the other end of this to the uh, to the pump, to the brown and white wire. Take the brown and white wire, which I already crap. Connect it there. Cool off for a second. All right, we're gonna move that heat shrink back up over that. See if that'll. I'm probably gonna do the rest of that with liquid tape. Don't forget to put your fuse in. And make sure you hit it with some liquid tape too. Also, don't forget to tighten up your hose clamp. It's probably gonna kick pretty good when it kicks on it. 
1100 gallons an hour that's going to push water pretty fast so you definitely want your hose clamp tightened down don't over tighten it but make sure it's snug well here's a test run That didn't take long. Five gallons in what was that, about five or six seconds? I think we're gonna be good with this joker. Yeehaw! And so all I have left is mounting it right here. And so now it's mounted. It sits, I mean, it won't be exactly flush, It'll be pretty low in the in the boat, so and I don't have to drill any holes in the boat. So let's go see if it what it does. Pump work. To see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, That Shiner Guy. Thank you.